All right, it is 9-12. Oh, yeah, we're going to be uh, on the interstates. Maybe you're flying somewhere. But if you're driving here somewhere for the Thanksgiving holiday, you should know that holiday vacation, you know, it's not just for you and the kids. A survey by the American Pet Products Association found 37% of pet owners aren't going to be, you know, boarding their pet. They're going to be traveling with their furry pals. Well, indie vets, Dr. James Spicer and Rosie are here with some ways to make the trip uh, more stress-free. I mean, every dog, every cat, I guess, is a little bit different here. Some travel well, some are a nightmare. So let's address the ways that we can make it better for everyone. Well, you're absolutely right. Some are anxious with traveling and some aren't. Mm -hmm. But, you know, the first thing to think about is whether or not they really are healthy enough to travel. Oh. If they've just had surgery or maybe they're being treated for a chronic or acute malady of some sort, it might not be, it might be best not to take them on the trip. Because of the motion, right? I mean, it, it's, it's, well, it's unsettling for because them. it's stressful. Yeah. Okay, so certainly check with your veterinarian and see whether or not they're uh, good to travel. There may be just a change in medication that's necessary. So now okay. let's talk about yeah, well, anxiety. Some, the answer was yes, they're good to go, but there's some things you can do to kind of make it less stressful. Exactly. So many are anxious about traveling. Mm -hmm. Some aren't. Rosie loves to travel, she does. by the way. You just say, you want to go for a ride? And, and she's, she's there. She's there. Okay, good. But many are anxious. So how do we uh, mitigate that anxiety? Well, the first thing is to kind of maybe take them for a few just short trips around town mm -hmm. because they may have only gone on a trip to the veterinarian, which oh, they didn't think they was They don't pleasant. associate it with a right. good thing. That's right. Oh, yeah. So oh, let's take them for some yeah. short trips, kind of adapt oh, them to travel. Mm -hmm. And then certainly many pets, if they are put in a carrier or a smaller container that mitigates anxiety particularly cats but if it's no it's never any fun to be in a car with mm -hmm. a cat that's meowing the whole way <laughs> no, on the trip, I've never done right? that I'll be honest with you plenty of dogs <laughs> right. that uh, ended up with a with a messy back seat that's because right. they you don't got want sick you don't want that no so there are medications tranquilizers and things that can be utilized you can check with your veterinarian mm -hmm. and that'll make the trip much more satisfying to the pet how as common well as is yourself. that for, for folks that's to use. pretty common yeah pretty common I have it asked uh, for me all the time for you yourself? No, well, for, for Rosie. Well, for, yeah, for okay. cats. So, right. so that's a quick and easy way to kind of address that. What, what else By all consider? means, let's take their medication with them. If mm -hmm. they are on any, take their food with you. Mm. Don't buy another food. That can lead to GI upset. And, of course, we've already discussed mm -hmm. what can happen then. Yeah, that's right. no fun. Yeah. And how to secure the pet in the car. Don't leave your pets loose in the car. You have a good, good if we harness have, here. Uh, if, we, if you stop suddenly, I've seen many injuries due to that. But a harness mm -hmm. is the best, a harness that then can be secured to a seat belt. They're commercial products that are specifically designed for that. Don't, I'll tell you what not to do. Don't put like a, a collar on. and a leash and secure that. If you stop, mm. you're going to have a neck injury or much worse. Let's not do that. And by all means, don't travel with a cat loose in the car. That's an accident <laughs> waiting to happen. Cat loose in the car, yeah. We do not want to have Rosie, that. Rosie, these were the do's and don'ts. Dr. Spicer, thank you very much. Uh, an Indie Vet Emergency Specialty Hospital. If you'd like a list of all their services and uh, all the education that you guys do, we'll uh, link you up at our website, fox59.com. All right, you travel back uh, to work now, Rosie. Have a good day. Thanks, Jim. All Appreciate right, thank it. thank you. All right, 9.15, and let's talk weather with Jim. I guess the big story here, not so much the rain today,